G'day guys, welcome back to another video of my let's play of Anima. How are we doing guys? Hope you guys are well. So, we are in the Arcane Passage here. So this is floor 2. Um, we're just going to do our best here and go through this as quick as possible because I really want to get through most of this um, and hopefully we can get to, you know, the last level. And that's where I'm sure that everything is going to hit the fan and we're going to have ourselves a good time with that. So, what I wanted to first cover off is, um, during my last video, I went on a little bit of a tandem, tangent uh, rant here. So if you guys want to check it out, please check out the previous video. But I was explaining the situation of um, the, the map. So the map that we're currently in, not all maps are affected by this or it's not an issue with most maps but in some in some cases so what I'd like to see moving forward is what you see on, on the um, on the heads up right now is that you've got your entry point where we came from and the exit point from where we're going to to the next level so the reason why that I bring this up is that I really want to see this all the time so this will sort of help with, um, well, not only for me playing my videos, but more uh, for you guys to know where you guys uh, should be going. So you don't have to, you know, backtrack every single time and waste your, your own time in playing the game. Which, I get there's going to be some sort of grinding element to it, that I understand. But when you're grinding and you don't really know where you're going because the map resets every single time, it sort of makes it life a little bit more difficult. So, uh, as I was sort of showing you up there the exit levels up there so what I'm doing right now is I'm just going through everything in the opposite direction that I can cover through and at least this way I, I, can, I only need to go through these areas once and only once hopefully that makes sense so that's why I sort of yeah went on that little bit of a um, of an explanation now but also more importantly I did that in the previous video because it, it is a bit of, it is a little bit frustrating and only because as you're sort of going through and you sort of waste your own time and I, look it's fine in some cases but in other times where you just really want to get to the next level um, you, you just really don't want to bother yourself with um, you know going to and from and things like that so yeah I, I figured it was, you know, the ideal time to sort of talk about it, which I have. Oh, awesome. Perfect. Oh, absolutely perfect. I, I love the, um, the attack buff. This is ridiculous. I mean, it's a lot better when you get into higher levels and things like that, but everything's all on times 10, which I've noticed, which is so good. What, what really annoys me is that you get some of these things too close to each other. That I don't like. I don't enjoy that, unfortunately. Because you don't know what the next one will be, and, and then you've got another one here in the corner. So they're all in areas here, which realistically you're really not going to be wanting to use. Or you're not inclined to use it. I don't know. So what I'm going to do anyway is I've, I've had fun there. I didn't I really didn't have to hit the um uh what do you call it? The attack button. So, okay, so we've got the fortune one, which is fine. I don't mind trying to find some decent coin and things like that. But I would really like that they're a little bit more spaced out. Again, this is just me nitpicking. I mean, as I said before, and I will keep saying it, the game is fantastic as it is at the moment. There are things that, you know, could be in implemented into the, into the game, but I think this will be at a later stage. The game hasn't been out for too long, but considering that, that as well alone, that there's been a number of updates and changes to the game that a lot of people have been happy about it. so it is it has been a really good you know game thus far did I just get the same buff I've got the same buff okay well that's fine so at least we can sort of run back here and I'm just going to cover off uh, the left hand side which I haven't covered through just yet so just over here and who do we have here? Got a few of you guys here. I kind of like to sort of run past these guys a little bit and then see what's up ahead of me. And then I can sort of double back real quick and then just one, one time hit them as I'm sort of going through. So I'm sort of trying to increase the buff of this little halo thingy that I've got. Um, got to work out what it's actually called. Uh, what are you called? 
So the magic orbit, okay. So they call it an orbit, I call it a halo, I don't know. We all have our own, you know, ways of describing things at the end of the day. But we are on our way to level three of the passage, which is great. So got through this pretty quickly actually. So in the first five and a half minutes, not bad. So sometimes depending on the levels and depending on how you're um, you're going with the level, uh, it may take you double that time. It, it's happened to me. Um, so, yeah. But, let's um, see what's over here. Because there shouldn't be much of anything now. Not these dark mages. They weren't even an issue whatsoever. Mage versus mage. Ooh, we got a purple one. Got an epic. Yeah, still not good. Yeah, I'm being very, very picky with my, um, with my selection in um, investing in certain weapons and armors and things like that. But we'll get into level three. Once it sort of loads through, we can move right along. Um, I'm gonna have to race back home. Did pick up a various amount of loot, which is good, but also haven't seen anything that I wanna sort of adopt just yet. Which is annoying, but it is what it is, so. Alright, cool. Ooh, alright. So I guess that's where Hedwig needs us to be, so there's a little question mark as well. So let's go and head back, D loop, and hopefully we can um, we'll finish that quest for Hedwig there, and then I don't know whether he gives us anything. That I cannot tell you right now, so I wouldn't have a clue. Um, no sockets, nothing like that, nothing, not interested. What do you do to everything here? You actually decrease everything. Okay, so you go back to where you were. Nothing interesting there, actually interesting to see what that does. Ooh, that really drops it off. No, okay, we'll leave everything as it is, that didn't inspire me here, go away, sell, yeah, all right, not going to waste any more time, let's just sell and store and move on, I guess where I sort of draw the line, or where I start to more inclined to start looking at things, is when I've hit, a, when I've hit the wall, basically, and what I mean by that is where I find it, the, the difficulty has been raised for me, or it's harder for me to take down enemies and things like that. That's where I sort of draw the line and say, okay, cool. This is where I start, I need to start looking for things or I need to start looking out for things so I can um, start, you know, increasing my character. And I sort of take things, you know, from that, based on that. So, these guys, not an issue whatsoever. Let's just take out these knights. Okay. Oop. It ran right into these guys here. Very good. Ooh, we've got a new weapon there. Actually, we've got a new weapon there. Um, I will suss that out because I don't think I've seen that before. Take you out. Get out of there because I oh those those guys are easy to, to kill but they're like a ticking time bomb if you stick around long enough um, you're gonna get punished so yeah be careful absolutely okay no one here okay and we are in this little out of the way okay let's just do a bit of Quick mana regen here. Very good. Alrighty. I don't know why I got out of that, but I wanted to see the difference between. Yeah, see, this does not give me any sort of inspiration here to use it, but because it's new, I'm going to check it out, see if it's a decent enough weapon. Remember, my standard attacks was about 170. All these are 241. Okay. So, 
So this is a little bit stronger. So this is what sort of confuses me. Like, I, f I feel like I'm doing things right, but as I'm, as I'm sort of, you know, going through the motions here, I notice that things that may look bad on paper, or initially in terms of the stats themselves, they don't measure up to what I currently have. However, it's still stronger. I mean, overall, if we're talking about raw power, it's a better weapon. But I don't know whether or not that's going to translate into things like where it matters. I'm not too sure. So, yeah, I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. Anyway, these are these are things that I, you know, need to, you know, start working out for myself as well at the same time, which Again, I'd be uh, grateful if you guys could, you know, at least um, give me some clues or some tips and things like that. And again, it's not always just for my benefit. It's, all, it's for the benefit of other people that are in a similar situation where um, they may need a little bit more um, assistance and a bit more guidance in, you know, in the gameplay itself in what to sort of look for. And hopefully, you know, they become better players because of it. And that's what I'm hoping um, you know, that would happen, so, yeah. Okay, let's just take out these guys. Cool, we have this thing. So we've got the legacy, we've got to take that back to the blacksmith, so I'll end up taking that once I've filled up my quota here. Oop. Let's just take you out, very good. And I think that will be to the end, so what I'll do with that is I'll quickly backtrack here which is not too bad from the um again comparing to the previous video i uh, took way too long in one zone so let's just r rally everyone up see if there's anyone that hasn't um announced themselves yet to me it's just these two cool nice and easy so we'll continue on and get this all happening. Why is this still glowing? I, I hadn't put anything in here, didn't I? I really want to get this up as much as possible. So I reckon when I get to the final boss, because we are getting close, I think after level four of this is the last zone. So I don't know what to expect with that. So yeah, not too sure what I need to do to prepare for that. So I'm just going to do what I can now um, prepare myself uh, with the things I have in place and all that sort of stuff and yeah take it from there I guess all right let's head over to Olaf here so I'm gonna speak to Olaf first and we'll dump things that I don't need I'm gonna keep all that Ooh, oh I'm just gonna keep that I guess so what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and store that for now and I think everything here is sellable. Yep. Okay, so no, I'm not interested in any of that. That doesn't give me any thing that I need. Okay, cool. Let's go see what Hedwig has to say. Ah, <laughs> Inuklam euper distruifa. Augeje corba usaek cura. Traifa grota euno eke ortu ira torget catos. Inugral culit fierdu. Lundes pes terribilis. Okay, so we, we just opened up infusion. Um, which I guess it's that. Oh no, infuse is here. So we can infuse weapons and get them to, you know, increase in power. But I don't think I can do that just yet. So I think I need to be at least uh, Reincarnation 4 for a lot of those to matter. So yeah, as well as it's good to have now or for that to be unlocked now, I kind of feel like it was, I don't know, it's a bit of a tease. That's just my opinion on, on that. Um, but I guess that's probably because when the game first came out there was um, lower expectations I guess and that's probably the reason why that it, it, it is what it's like right now 
and they just sort of left it there. Now this, you know, from a developer point of view, um, that's just my general, you know, assessment and things like that. So anyway, I figured I'd just sort of bring that up. That's just my thoughts. I don't know. Let me know, guys. More experience, guys. Redemption. Cross the red portal to proceed. Oh, okay. Um, okay, cross the red portal, proceed beyond the uh, um, arcane passage and find the lost city. So that's going to be the last um, uh, zone. Okay, key to salvation. We cannot embrace freedom again if you do not complete your tasks. You must find the emperor and fulfill your destiny. This is the price of for your redemption. Cool. All right, so we are getting towards the last part here, which is great. So I'm hoping that I can finish this off quick enough and then we will set ourselves up for the next zones, which is going to be awesome. Where's that room one? Let's grab that one there. Okay, no one else in here. Cool, let's move on. And I think I feel like I want to. No, I can't go down here. Take you out. Grab your coinage. Get you guys. Boom. And yes. So far, so good. Level 28. I'm actually doing really, really good. I mean, I'm level 47. These guys are level 28. So, from a. From a standpoint here, I think I've done a hell of a lot of grinding in between, you know, making these videos here to sort of try and get to my next stages and things like that. Um, yeah, really, really cool. Now, I'll ask again to you guys, um, what secondary level, or sorry, what secondary class should I be looking at? Now, I don't know if it's been answered in the previous video, so I'm just going to continue to answer it because I am playing a lot of these. Um, videos and recording these back to back and if I do have the answer by then that's good disregard most definitely but if I haven't covered it and you haven't seen me um, introduce the second class or spoken about it for a couple of minutes then you know that I haven't done it and I'm still asking the question because I haven't gotten you know my feedback so um, currently running mage as my primary what should I be doing to my secondary should I be going mage again if that's even possible or should I be looking should I look into archery or should I be looking into um, uh, skirmish so any info is good information for me just so I can sort of get my better understanding about it and hopefully you know I can make the right choice and again not only for me but for other people that might be struggling or possibly in a similar situation as to what I am at the moment so this is all for them to work out or you know, help them and aid, them and aid them as to what would be the uh, preferable way of doing things. Um, but yeah, we'll continue on. Um, disappointed that there's no special um, enemies to take down like Mimics or anything like that. Really would love a good Mimic here because they do drop some pretty decent loot and also they they drop um, you know some legendary items which are always fun to have, of course. Alright, what do we have over here? I'm going down this little way here. Don't tell me this is the exit. But this is just a continuation. Perhaps re really, really long as you can see. And these guys just end up stopping. Ooh, we got a buff we have here we've got the intellect buff awesome so I can go ham on spamming movability teleportation and just absolutely using my max uh, my max attack on everything here which I absolutely love and enjoy so right next to strength I like the intellect and I think the intellect will probably be better for my build there's the exit so this is cool so the fact that I've got the intellect buff now is I can use unlimited mana as freely as I can and as you can see I am rifling back through the map here and again this saves time this actually really helps and I really do enjoy the fact that I can use this as freely as I possibly can right now and this just sort of allows me to get through everything in a timely manner and then this way I can get to the final part I guess 
Okay, so it looks like we've done the loop. So we'll definitely head back and I hope by then the this buff here may just expire by the time I get to uh, the exit portal. Alrighty, so look at that. We're just absolutely going through the motions here. Really enjoyed doing that. And ooh, red, uh, red ring. We are finally in the lost city. Yes, this looks great. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it here because I don't want to continue on until the next video. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one going through the Archon Passage. As and now we're up to the Lost City. So let me know in the comments, please answer answer the questions that I've uh, that I've asked if you can help me out that'd be helpful not for me but for everyone else so if you enjoyed the video hit the like button comment down below of course again um, share the video if you can that'll really help me out and if you guys are new to the channel and wanted to see the remainder of this series please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos but also rewatch the rest of it if you haven't done so already anyway I'm out of here take it easy catch you next time